Hello, Times Cryptic, let's go. Healthy sounding old lady with really empty prayer. This is Hail Mary. Sounding is an indication that, the, that a word is spelt differently to how it should be spelt, but sounds the same. So healthy is H-A-L-E, and that is spelt H-A-I-L for the purposes of this clue. Old lady is Ma, short for mother, with really empty. Well, if you empty really, you just left with the outside letters R and Y, and then Hail Mary is a prayer. Vehicle that's found in a nuclear power plant. Gosh. Ah, yes, a hot rod. This is a double definition. So a hot rod is a type of car and rods are used in nuclear power plants. So I expect they may well get hot. And I think the question mark indicates that this isn't a standard term within the nuclear power industry. Unlimited alcoholic beverage, rum. This is odd. The alcoholic beverage is a toddy. Unlimited means without its outside or limiting letters, T and Y, leaving odd, which means rum. Pest upset, hosts. Well, I wonder if this is twang. Pest is nat, upset means reversed. Hosts or includes with W, the abbreviation for with. So reversal of nat contains with, gives twang, which is noise from guitar. With tablet, prepare unique identifier. Wow, what's this? Quite a few letters in, it probably begins in. Okay, I'm not getting that. Legendary vehicle, British sports car, without a fresh practice. Nope. Riot's anger engulfing a politician. Yeah, this is Rampage. So a rampage is a riot, anger is rage, engulfing or including a politician, a MP, MP being short for Member of Parliament in the UK. Thomas say, tailed, horse-like figure. Nope. Pelicans go flying, circling unknown, birds that can't fly. So flying looks like an anagram indicator for pelicans go, which is 10 letters. We're looking for 11 letters. So an anagram of pelicans go, circling or around a single letter for unknown, which could be X, Y or Z. And the definition is birds that can't fly. So pelicans go with X, Y, or Z. Nope, not getting that. Okay, let me go back to the downs. Trendy drink. This is insipid. Trendy is in. Drink is sip. I had is I apostrophe D. And insipid is tasteless. Film family with head of Q8. Wearing metal. Nope. Leader of Genesis. Finally performing cover. Yeah, this looks like Glastonbury. So leader of Genesis is the leading letter of Genesis, G. Finally performing is last on. Cover is Berry. And then Glastonbury is a music festival. Refusal to negotiate about Northern Ireland. So I think this is denial. Denial means refusal. To negotiate is to deal about Northern Ireland, about N-I, the abbreviation. Pig 
has good time in town. I wonder if this is grunter. Pig's grunt, so a grunter could be a pig. Good is G, the abbreviation. Time. This isn't looking good. Time is T, but there isn't a town of Runa. So I'm actually removing this. It's just incapable of having wordplay which works. Lincoln, say, gets a motorway directly from port. This is a beam. Lincoln is Abe, short for Abraham Lincoln, the American president. Gets a motorway, gets a M, M, the abbreviation for motorway. And a beam is a nautical term meaning from port. Not quite sure what the question mark is there for. Almost get car delivery in June, perhaps. No. Film. Well, I wonder if this is King Kong, which is a film. Family is kin. With head of Q8, K, the head letter of Q8, wearing medal, wearing gong. Almost get. Could that be get without its final letter? Car delivery in June, perhaps. No. Academic, where? I think this is don. A don is an academic. And to don an item of clothing is to wear it. New advert for bank loan of sorts. I wonder if this is overdraft. Yeah, I think new is an anagram indicator for advert for. Yeah, and then an overdraft is a sort of bank loan. Now, an orphan clue. Almost get car delivery in June, perhaps. What is this? Gemini fits as a word that begins G E, but then it's got M O N Y. Car delivery. Ah, this is Gemini. So almost get is indeed G E, get without its last letter. Car is mini and if you're delivered or born in June, then you could be under the star sign of Gemini. And the perhaps is because the star signs don't fully cover each month. So I suspect June is Gemini and one other star sign. Great, that's the top right done. Legendary vehicle. Magic something, magic carpet. So, British sports car, MG, without A, outside of A, fresh, practice. Yeah, fresh is an anagram indicator for practice, giving ick carpet, and then magic carpet is a legendary vehicle. Scoundrel, seen in river for some time. Yeah, this is decade. So a scoundrel is a cad, seen in river, seen in the river D, and a decade is some time, 10 years. Now, every letter, every crossing letter in this clue, with tablet, prepare, unique identifier, Wow, could this be IP address? So I think an IP address is a unique identifier for a piece of computer equipment connected to the internet. But how does the word play work? With tablet, ah, an iPad is a tablet, prepare is to dress, and an IP address is a unique identifier. A unique identifier. Phew, IP is 
not an easy two-letter combination to, to bring to mind. Pelicans go flying. OK, already looked at this. Looking for an anagram for, of pelicans go about an unknown. Birds that can't fly. What could this be? Could begin C-O-A, C-L-A. No, wow. Well, look forward to finding out what that is, hopefully within the next 20 minutes or so. So, Grunter still fits. But Runa is definitely not a town. Does this begin with G? Gareth with a ward picked up for Summer House. Well, a Summer House is a gazebo. Gareth is Gaz. Gaz, I think, is a short, short form for the name Gareth. And the award is OBE, picked up, reversed. So that confirms the G for Grunter. Crying and complaining, put up with large animal. Well, yeah, put up with his bear. Crying and complaining is grizzly. And a grizzly bear is a large animal. European movie, villains, short skirt. European could be you. Movie villains, not getting that. Famous dog, originally dwelling around part of Switzerland. Well, a St. Bernard is a breed of dog. Yeah, and Bern is a town in Switzerland. So around Bern, we've got Star D. Yeah, so famous is Star. Dog originally is the initial or original letter of dog, D. How does this work? I don't think I've said that correctly. I think famous dog is a St. Bernard, but it's just a breed of dog rather than famous. Originally, I think, refers to dwelling. That would be the D. Okay, I think this is a double definition. So you read it once, or an and lit clue, you read it once for the wordplay and once for the definition. So I think a St. Bernard, although it's a breed of dog, it's particularly famous for rescuing people in the Swiss mountains. So a famous dog originally dwelling around part of Switzerland could be just the definition for a St. Bernard. And then we can also read it as famous being star, dog originally is D, dwelling or just being around part of Switzerland, being around Bern. So the originally, I think, does refer to dog when you're reading this as the wordplay and not dwelling. OK, a bit of a meal of that, but I'm confident that the answer is correct. Fish, potentially. Well, yeah, I think fish potentially is row because row are fish eggs which could potentially become fish if they hatch. So fish potentially is the definition. With line, yeah, a row, R-O-W, is a line, and you might catch is another one of these homophone indicators, whereby for the purposes of the clue, the word is spelt differently to how it's normally spelt, so with an E, not a W. Handout, gold, shower, Component. So I think handout gold is the wordplay. And then a shower component is the definition, but I'm not getting it. European movie villains short skirt. Gosh, well, these are two crossing clues with no additional help. Let's see if 18 corroborates OR. I'd return to shift trespasser. 
So a trespasser is an intruder. How does the word play work? Yes, to shift is an anagram indicator for I'd return. So this R does confirm OR and OR is the, t the tincture gold. So gold is a reference to OR. Handout. And then shower components. What does a shower consist of? It's just a stick with water coming out of it. And what's this short skirt? Mini skirt? European. And I think we're then looking for a movie villain. Four letters with A in second place. Gosh, well, there are so many movie villains. None is coming to mind. Short skirts. Let me just consider this second letter. And the whole thing, the definition could be European. It could be a coincidence it begins with E, but if European isn't the definition, then the definition is either short skirt or skirt. And skirt could be a verb to skirt around rather than the noun. But let me consider this second letter in my mind. Yes, wow, phew, evade. So European is E, the movie villain is Darth Vader. Short indicates without his final letter. And then evade means skirt, fantastic. Okay, so yes, phew. To hand out is to meet, gold is O-R, and a meteor, well, meteors often appear as showers of meteors. So a shower component could be a single meteor. Phew, and this is surely glutton. A glutton is a pig, good is G, time is T, in town, in Luton. Luton is a town in England, just a few short miles from where I live, so I should have gotten that a bit earlier. Now, embarrassed, guilty party, covers lips. No. 13 down is the wretched flightless bird. Thomas say, already looked at that. Oil producers claim poles without being asked. Now poles is often a reference to N and S, the North and South poles. Oil producers could be OPEC and is OPEC. So oil producers OPEC claim poles or include N and S and on spec does that mean without being asked? I'm confident it does but that's not based. I, I'm familiar with the expression I just can't think of how exactly it's used, which would justify it being without being asked. But it's certainly correct. Embarrassed. Well, this could be crimson. When you're embarrassed, you go red, and crimson is a colour of red. Guilty party covers lips. Yes, a con is short for a convict, who is, is somebody who's been found guilty of committing a criminal offence. So con is guilty party, covers or includes lips, rims. Had a meal, yeah, had a meal with is eight. Friend is mate, skipping starter without its initial M. Grounds for university is campus. To break up scam or break is an anagram indicator for up scam. Planet once, Pluto used to be a planet and had that Accolade stripped from it, or designation stripped from it. So, planet once is the definition. Placed is put. Outside large, outside L, the clothing abbreviation. Observatory's entrance is the initial letter of observatory. 
some musings on garage music session. So, is this some is often a hidden indicator? Not getting it. Gosh, not too many clues to go, just three. But 20 minutes down, okay. Thomas say, tailed, horse-like figure. What is this? Now, surely I've got enough in to get this bird. It still looks like an anagram of pelicans go. Circling unknown, birds that cannot fly. Oh, well, pigeons are birds. So we have pelicans go. So what haven't I used from pelicans go? P-E, missing an L, I-C-A-N-S, go. Okay, yes, clay pigeons. So Clay pigeons is an anagram of pelicans go around Y, the mathematical unknown. And clay pigeons are birds that can't fly because they're just made of clay. They haven't, they're not real birds. They're just bits of clay that are shot into the air to be shot down in the sport of clay pigeon shooting. So a new letter for 29 across. Some musings on garage ah yeah it is a hidden clue wow so well hidden so if we start with the first s of musings we can see sing song ending with the first g of garage and a sing song is a music session so is that enough to get 16 down thomas say Tailed, horse-like figure. Gosh, there are so many good letters in this. It begins with an M. There's a U in there. Well, I wonder if this is mannequin, and I'm only thinking of this because it fits the letter pattern. Thomas say. Yeah, I think Thomas Mann. M-A-N-N is an author. So Thomas Say is man. Horse-like is equine. And tailed means without its final E. And then a mannequin is a figure, as in a model. So there we go. Every clue solved. Every clue explained. No empty squares. Submit. Submit. Hope and pray. No errors. Fantastic. Wow, I thought there may be an error in that. I didn't just didn't feel 100% confident overall, although I didn't have any particular clues which I, I had doubts about. Overall, that was a tricky challenge. And certainly 10 across with IP address. I've not seen that in a Times crossword before. And jolly tricky. It's it. You just think when you see I something, it's going to be in or it. And it wasn't, so I was hugely grateful for getting that. And wow, what a lovely, a lovely, lovely collection of clues. Beautiful puzzles, as always, from the Times. And whether they're on the easy side or the hard side, I always admire the, the clue setters for their, their wonderful work. So in terms of a snitch, I would say probably 70s or 80s. But absolutely fantastic fun. So I hope you enjoyed watching that solve. Like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time.